Young orphan man adopts newborn girl, finds out she's his biological sister. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. Two-two-year-old Harry had always dreamed of having a family. His dream came true only after he married the love of his life, Avril. They met in college, fell in love, married soon after graduation, and had a long life staring back at them. But they were happy. Harry entered the typical family man's life he'd always dreamed of and wanted to have a baby. The couple tried for months but could not get pregnant due to Avril's health issues, so they decided to adopt a child instead, and fate led them to a newborn baby girl who was just two weeks old. Harry grew up in a shelter and knew the difficulties kids abandoned by their parents faced. He decided to improve one such deserted child's life and contacted the local foster home. A few days later, he got a call informing him of a newborn baby named Miley, who was put for a closed adoption. Nothing could have made Harry and Avril happier that day. They shared the same views and were in this life-changing goal together. The day finally arrived after a six-month-long wait when Harry was able to take little Miley home. He completed all the paperwork and united with his dream child. Harry was the happiest the first time he held Miley, and nothing mattered to him other than the joy in her eyes. Four years passed blissfully. Miley was now four years old and all set to turn five in just a few months when she suddenly fell ill. Sadly, the doctor's prognosis for the little girl was not pleasing to Harry and Avril. They felt their whole world crumble slowly. We have to find a donor as soon as possible. She needs an urgent liver transplant, which can only be done through a living donor related to her, the doctor informed. A living donor who is related to her? Harry was disappointed and confused because he did not know who Miley's birth parents were, and her adoption was closed, making it impossible to track them down. Yes, please find someone who could be related to the girl as soon as possible. A DNA test should help find any such donor. Maybe you can take the test too because you match the girl's blood group. Even if you are not related to her, there could be some miracle. Harry was distraught, and his last resort was to take the alleged DNA test. He took the test, and the results two weeks later stunned him. The doctor called him to reveal a piece of shocking news that would turn Harry's life upside down in mere seconds. Mr. Parker, we have some good news. You match the girl's DNA by 50%. You are a perfect match and a live donor. Doctor, how is it possible? She is my adopted child, but how is my DNA matching hers? He wondered. And Mr. Parker, only siblings have a 50% match in their DNA because of recombination, said the doctor, aggravating Harry's doubts. She could be your sister. The surgery was successful, and Harry was relieved his daughter was all right, but he still could not shake his thoughts off what the doctor told him. He immediately met the foster home caretaker to learn about Miley's birth parents. I'm sorry, Mr. Parker. It was a closed adoption, and we don't have any information about the girl's parents. Ultimately, Harry recalled the DNA test results and remembered seeing another match. He rechecked the results and found that his and Miley's DNA matched with another woman named Dorothy. Together with John, Harry searched for Dorothy and derived her contact details. It turned out that she was living alone in an old trailer on the outskirts of town. Harry had no clue who this woman was until he met her that day. Hey there, I'm Harry and I'm coming from the town nearby. I took a DNA test to find an organ donor for my adopted daughter, he said. But I ended up being a perfect match, don't know how. Then I noticed my daughter and I matched you as well. How is it possible and who are you? Dorothy burst into tears and revealed something Harry was not prepared for. 
Do you know your parents? She asked. Harry thought it was weird and said he was raised in a shelter and had never seen his parents. Can I see the picture of the girl you adopted when she was a baby? She asked. Harry showed her the photo on his phone and Dorothy started tearing up. Is she your sister? Because I'm your mother, she answered, sending shivers down Harry's spine. You are my mother, he gasped, tearing up. Harry felt his whole world ripping apart right before his eyes. He fell to his knees and cried on his mother's lap. Mom, I know it was not your fault and circumstances forced you to abandon us. I'm glad that I could take my sister in though I was unaware we were related by blood. I think God planned to reunite us this way. But son, I am such a wicked mother who deserted her children. Why would you forgive me? I'm heartless and cruel, Dorothy sobbed. Mom, we all make mistakes, and as humans, our biggest strength is the ability to forgive. I forgive you, and I don't want you to feel guilty about what you did, all right? Those words were enough to warm Dorothy's heart. She happily agreed and moved in with Harry. That day, the loving son who yearned for family life had his prayers answered. Although Harry could no longer perceive Miley as his daughter, he was happy. As an added joy, Avril announced her pregnancy shortly after, and it appeared fate had indeed weaved some of the best plans for this family.